Hello boys and girls, today we're going to be creating a work of art inspired by two artists, Paul Clay and Mary Blair's Castles. You can hold your paper horizontally or vertically. If you want to use pencil to start your drawing and then later on trace with Sharpie, you can do that. But in this case, I'm going to draw with Sharpie marker because it will be easier for you to see. We are going to start by drawing some vertical lines lines that go up and down. Now you should vary these lines going across your paper. Vary their heights. Draw some tall and some short. Next, I'm going to be turning these vertical lines into the towers for my castle by connecting them with horizontal lines. You may find that you need to extend some of the vertical lines, this way you can vary the height of the towers. Now, if you have some extra space on the end, you're simply going to draw horizontal lines reaching towards the edge of the paper from the last tower. Now I'm going to add some detail to a few of the tops of my towers by using just a basic shape, maybe a triangle, a half circle, or maybe even a rectangle or a diamond shape, whatever you choose. Feel free to even add some flags at the top of your towers like Mary Blair did. Now that I added some detail to the tops of my towers using basic shapes, I'm going to add a moon to my sky. You can add a sun if you want, just like Paul Clay did. Now I'm going to add detail to the inside of my towers using basic shapes and lines, just like Mary Blair and Paul Clay. Be sure to vary the lines and shapes you use. Maybe you use vertical, horizontal, diagonal lines. You could even use wavy lines, zigzag lines, or swirling lines. And when it comes to shapes, make sure you vary the basic shapes that you use as well. You could use diamonds, circles, squares, triangles, rectangles. You could even throw in a heart or maybe a star in there as well.
If you did your drawing with pencil, now would be the time to trace with black marker or Sharpie marker, then erase any pencil marks you see after tracing before we get to coloring. Now it's time to add some color. For this project, I would like you to choose some tints and shades of maybe three colors. That means some light and dark versions of the three colors you choose. So in my case, I chose blue, purple, and green, and I chose some light and dark versions of those colors. Now, if you don't have light and dark versions of the colors that you choose at home, you can simply vary the value or the tints and shades of those colors by pressing either harder with your crayon to get darker colors or softer with your crayon to get lighter colors. If you don't have crayons at home, you could use color pencils as well. You can press harder to get darker versions of your color and lighter to get lighter versions of your color with color pencils also. Some of you might have an abundance of markers at home. If you wanna do this with markers, simply find tints and shades, light and dark versions of the colors you choose in the markers that you have. The process I like to use when coloring many different sections of a drawing with different colors is to choose the first color and then color a few sections of the drawing using that one color before I move on to the next. And I just repeat this with every color until I get to the last color. And if I have extra spaces that I need to color in, I choose the colors that I would like to put in those areas. Now for the sky, I'm gonna choose a value of one of the colors that I use, and I'm just going to use the side of my crayon and color it very lightly.
I hope you had fun drawing your Paul Clay and Mary Blair inspired castle. Don't forget to write your name at the top or bottom of your paper. And always remember to have fun, be creative, and don't worry if you make a mistake.